Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create really unique borders in between the sections in your Squarespace website. Now, all the codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but if you stick with me on this tutorial, I'm going to take you through those codes step by super simple steps so you can understand how they work and how to update them to make them perfect for your own website. So let's hop into my demo site and get started. Alrighty, here we are in my Squarespace demo site. All the things we're doing today require some custom CSS. So I'm going to navigate to the design menu here and then all the way to the bottom to where it says custom CSS. Now I have a few different sections here, a first, a second, and a third. So let's go ahead and just add a standard border between all of the sections. I'm just going to say page dash section border. And then for border, the way the borders code, the way border codes work is you start by identifying the width of the border. So 5px and then the type of border. Let's make this a double border and then the color of the border. I'll make this double border red. Now this puts a border around every single section. So what if you just want it to be between the sections and not on the sides? All you have to do is say border bottom. And now it'll just be applied to the bottom of all of the sections. Pretty interesting, right? You can also specify border top, border left, border right, however you want to do that. So let's say we want a unique top border and a unique bottom border. We've got bottom border there. Let's add border top um, 8px dotted red. What does that look like? So I've typed the code in there and now we can see looks pretty funky. I've got an interesting little banner going on there. I've got the two double lines for the bottom of the section and then the dotted for the top of the section. So they run into each other like that. Kind of a fun code. I like that one. Now, using these borders, we can get pretty creative and specify just one particular section. I'm going to use the pseudo class called the nth child here to identify just the second section or just the third. Let's go ahead and add that to our code so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to say nth child parentheses three. Now, the border on the top of the dots and the border on the bottom of the double line is only applied to the third background. All the other backgrounds stay exactly the same. Pretty cool, right? So again, that's the nth child pseudo class there. Just change that number to match which section you're talking about. Now, as much as I love these basic borders, I actually had a lot of fun creating some pretty interesting ones using a little bit of advanced CSS. So the first unique border I want to show you actually places a diamond shape in between the different sections. So I'm just going to paste the code right here and we can check it out. Now we have that unique little diamond or carrot shape in the very center of all of those sections. It's pretty neat, right? I like that one. Now the next code I have actually places a circle in between the sections and this one I had a lot of fun with. So I created the circle and it has that little divider right there, but I actually really love stars. I know that sounds really random, but it's one of my favorite shapes in the world. I have a favorite shape. I know I'm a grown up. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this code in here to show you what we've done is actually add a little star in between the sections. Now that star kind of isolates the sections and gives it a really unique opportunity there. One other thing I'd like to mention is you can specify which section actually gets that divider. So let's say you don't want this cool star in a circle separating all of your sections. Let's say you just want to go for the second section. We can use that nth child nth child property again. And now that star is only applied at the top of my second background there. Let's say we change that to three. Check it out, it's gonna scoot itself down and just be above the third section. So you can isolate these unique borders to specify exactly which section you want them to be in. So that's it for this tutorial, a pretty interesting one, but so many creative options. I want you to take the codes that are beneath this video and play around with them on your own site to come up with your really creative, unique borders. Don't forget to use that pseudo class of the nth dash child to specify which section you want it to apply to if you don't want that border to to be between every single section on your site. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. I'll call it a wrap so you can grab those codes and get to exploring. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. 
That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.